The time has come. We are on the final part of reacting to Maya and the Three for the first time. So in this video, we're gonna be covering episode seven to the finale. So if you haven't seen the first two parts, go do that right now and then come back so we can figure out what happens in this finale, okay? I'm so curious to find out why dad cheated on mom and why did he cheat on her with the goddess of death? Like, I need to know. I need answers now, okay? And they better be answered in these episodes. So without further ado, let's get right into Maya and the Three. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this fight is intense. They're going through trees, they're going up in the sky. You cut the whole branch off? Oh, okay, she saved you. Why did she save you though? <gasps> it's the goddess of death. Ah! <gasps> this is a backstory. What were you thinking? I made this for you, Mjolnir. Spawn of a human and the goddess of death. Ah, you think of everything, Mjolnir. Sacrifices are more effective when they're right. Why don't you wait, my sweet? They're talking about this baby like it's an apple that needs to ripen. Oh my goodness. Let the Tekas raise her. You can have her when she's, say, 15? Yeah. Give them plenty of time to fall in love with it before we rip it away from her sacrifice. <laughs> my husband! You are the master of inflicting pain. Y'all, y'all are weirdos. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> you will be nothing to it. Nothing, nothing at all. Magnifico. I'll send her off now. Pause, I peeped that when he was saying, oh, you'll be nothing to it. I saw the goddess of death get a little, like it, it hurt her a little bit. I hope that hurt you though. Cause you really went slept with a married man to produce a child for your husband to eat. That's insane. <laughs> That's insanity. <laughs> but oh, I am eating this up right now. Oh, this drama is so juicy. I'll send her off now. Mm, the goddess of death looks so fabulous though. <laughs> I knew it, she's crying. Yeah, you're falling in love with the baby kind of. Maya was such a cute baby. <laughs> oh, and her brothers! R.I.P. to them. Ugh. Who, wait, who was that? Was that the goddess of death? Yep. Okay, guys, buckle up, because this episode's gonna be a ride. Yeah, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> Once again, the animation is stunning. It looks so good. Ooh, are we at the gate now? Oh my God, the divine gate. I love how they say, oh my gods, instead of, oh my God. <laughs> We're the first living humans to pass through this gate. The story will be told for generations of how we, Maya and the three, Vanquish the god of war. Onward, my warriors! Onward! Oh, that was pretty easy. Very anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna be harder to get through this gate. Maybe our talismans will do it. Eagle Claw! Nice and oh, And still nothing. Great. <laughs> Any other ideas? Uma punch! Punch. <laughs> hmm. Trying to bribe the gate. <laughs> My whole life, 
all I ever wanted was to meet my mother. I don't think the divine gate cares. Oh, or maybe it does. Let me shut up. Clearly I don't know anything. <laughs> It's coming to life. Chapa, hold on. Oh, Chapa. Mm -hmm. You know, Mercury amalgamation can extract silver from finely crushed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, what you doing, Maya? Oh, it's not happy. Oh, nice. Good idea. This better work, Lady Mika. Oh, that was close. <laughs> you see? I knew this would be easy. Okay, don't say that because we still need to confront the god of war. So it's gonna get much harder than this. Chapa, I know you want to go with us, but you've done enough by getting us here. And you're hurt. So go home to Mama and Papa. They need you. Protect them. Yes. Thank you, old friend. Did you love giant cat? Whoa. Ha! You know what? Uh, I think I hear Chiapa calling. <laughs> it's too late now. You already crossed the gate. I... Wh which way is it? Never mind. I, I, you know what? I don't want to know. The stairs being a wind and bone, like, that's so creepy and creative. <laughs> Ma'am, what are you doing down here? What took you so long? You were expecting us? Ah, what about more gifted children? Oh, wait, don't you speak in rhymes? Some of me does. Huh? <laughs> Some of me, do you have multiple personalities or something? I remember when we guided you from the underworld to your parents. So innocent then. Oh. But now you have no plan. We're taking Lord McClan down and no one can stop us. Ah. <sighs> We can't interfere. So should we head back home then? Because she seemed disappointed that we said we were gonna fight the Lord. So maybe we should just head home, give up on this plan. Uh, bats, bats, bats. His hair is like the wings of a beautiful dove. <laughs> yeah, no touchy, okay? You already have two guys fighting over you, Chimmy. Look, if you're here to ask me to join your quest. No, no, no. I asked to join yours. Our boo thing is joining us? Okay. Come now. It is time for us to face Lord McClan. <gasps> huh? We. Plan is simple. We bypass the main entrance to Lord McClan's temple and make our way through the fire tunnels. Yeah, it's great. That's, that's really, it's really great. Here's my plan. We pretend to be your prisoners, walk up to Lord McClan, and surprise! I challenge him to a fight to the death. Boo! Maya, please. Yeah, let's listen to the Prince of Bats, because he knows how things run down here. Hey, you asked to join my quest, so we're going to do this my way. I don't like you taking such a risk, Maya. Yeah, Maya, can we listen to others? Come on. Whoa. Lord McClan stand. Once again with the rock music, it's so fitting for the vibes down here. Don't kill me, brothers. Por favor. <laughs> They're laughing over the brothers getting killed. Oh my goodness. You finally brought me that half breed. Zads did not bring me. Zads stands with me. 
I have joined her quest, you monster. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, Princess Maya, along with my three friends, challenge you to a battle to the death. Hey guys, I don't know if we're ready. We're not ready to battle him yet. Maya, let me show you and your friends just how pathetic you are. I'll stop you guys. He at least should have known the depths of your stupidity. Oh, oh, oh. The ring is here! Okay, yes! Oh, yikes. <laughs> Did you really think I didn't know you and your son were plotting against me? He oh. knew. There goes father. Oh no. See Maya, we were in over our heads. We should have listened to a poosh and gone home. You will pay for this! Relax, Ed. All of you, relax. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I'm trying to enjoy, but I'm a little stressed right now, okay? Oh no. Die, Maya, die! Die, Maya, die! Die, Maya, die! He can control other people? We don't, don't do this! Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. And it's not even fair because it's three of them against Maya. Obey me, Booster Wizard. Uh, no! I'm the Booster Wizard. Yes! I know that's right. How could you be that strong? <laughs> yeah, don't underestimate his strength, okay? Mm hmm. Yes! Yes! Should we help Lord McLean? No, no, stay out of it, y'all. <gasps> now, my misbegotten princess, it is time for you to fulfill your one and only purpose. Let her go! Mother, yeah? feel bad and step in, please. <laughs> we are the prophecy. <laughs> Mom is helping us. Ah! Yes. Oh no, Miamon. Go, Miamon. Oh. Miamon, <laughs> let me help you. Even though I gave them the sword for them to kill you, Miamon. <laughs> Rico's hurt too. This might be the only chance we got. No time to let go. No. Yeah, yeah, Maya. I know you want to defeat him, but we're too wounded right now. <laughs> Whose owl is this? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Everything is just going bad right now. No, Pichu, please do not sacrifice. Love you. And he's gonna sacrifice himself. Oh. Don't forget me. We won't. You and your biceps will be greatly missed. Oh my goodness. He destroyed the gates. emotional <laughs> we so proud of you Miko need you proud be your son oh my gosh I didn't know this show was gonna get me crying I didn't even grab Kleenex because I didn't think I was gonna cry <laughs> that's that <laughs> 
What an amazing episode. Ugh. I had a feeling Pichu was going to sacrifice himself. I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but it did. But he went out an awesome way. Now he's back with his parents. Y'all, I really don't have Kleenex around me because I didn't think I'd cry. My goodness. I'm gonna have to use this receipt. <laughs> this is so ghetto. <laughs> And unsanitary, honestly, but I don't care. I don't feel like getting up. Okay, now we're on um episode eight. My gosh, I'm sorry. Like, I, literally that episode, so much was happening. It was so juicy. It was so good. Like, our mother actually helping us, thank goodness. The least she could do, honestly, after, like, giving birth to us just to, like, it, for her husband to eat us in the future. Like, it's the least she could do is help us not get sacrificed. <laughs> it killed me though, how she just kept saying, oh, Mia Moore, oh, you're injured, oh, Mia Moore. <laughs> She's so two-faced and I'm living for it. Episode eight is called The Bat and the Owl. Interesting. Hurry, Zania, we're almost there. Oh, so we're getting Zat's um, backstory. What's after us? to me. You will protect Zatz better than I ever could. Mother. Sorry, mi amor. No. What is up with all the mothers dying in the backstories? Come and get that, you fuck. Like, I love this mom, because you're being a badass, but why did you have to sacrifice yourself? Why? Xenia, ¿qué pasó? I will always be here. Not gonna lie, that's Loki given the Lion King vibes when Mufasa is talking to Simba after he died in the sky. Look at the stars, but those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. We're on the second last episode, and that's kind of depressing because the show is so good. <sighs> We're up in the sky, and the visuals once again look so good. Look at the clouds, the moonlight hitting us nicely. The stars over the sea. Oh, uh oh, what's happening? Oh, is everyone all right? Barely, but we all good. What in the gods? <gasps> Mother! The goddess of death! Please, I beg you, can you introduce me to my mother? Well, she's kind of wounded right now, so that can wait a little bit. Well, I love her dreads. Looks so gorgeous. She does look really different here than she did in the underworld. Your friend Pichu was a great warrior. The best. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss too. You lost your dad. Oh. That's Mama. <gasps> and that's Papa. They're beautiful. And now they're together forever. Woo! This show really knows how to pull on your emotions. Y'all gonna kiss now? Might as well. <laughs> I'm getting so invested in this. Like, Rikia, calm down. What's the plan, evil wolf? You must return to your kingdoms at once. <gasps> There's no prophecy. Tell your rulers I was wrong. I was wrong about a lot of things. And now I need you to warn everyone. I'll stay with Lady Mikta until she regains her strength, and then I will make her tell me how to kill her husband. Then we'll return to Thika and prepare to fight until the end. Be well, Princess Maya. <laughs> he, the way he's just floating away, so dramatic. I felt Pichu's death. For him, a moment 
Don't. Keep your hands to yourself, ma'am. <laughs> For him, it was not a loss. It was a triumph. Why'd you save me? Why the change of heart? I'm asking that too. Long ago, when I was a young goddess, all I cared about was power. That is why I married the mightiest god of all. Lord Glan. But death itself grew a heart. And from the moment I first held you in my arms, you became all that mattered to me. I had created a life. You. Oh! Hey, that's my favorite melody. Mine too. Some say it was here before the world and will remain after it ends. <gasps> I remember while I was watching that scene in the first episode, I was like, okay, this is an interesting scene, but like, why are we adding, like, why is it here? Like, what importance is this character gonna be to Maya later on? It was secretly her other mother, so <laughs> wow. I did not see that coming. Mama! Papa! I think the Dios is Maya's back. Oh, mom is so heavily pregnant. She's gonna pop any moment now. And you are Lady Mikte. Side eye. <laughs> side eye. Look at mom's side eye and dad. <laughs> Eat up, Papa. This could very well be our last meal. Dad is stressed. He's like, not the two women that I've uh, been intimate with at the same table. <laughs> Having two mothers is amazing. <laughs> Thank you for saving Maya when she foolishly tried to fight your husband. Well, I can see the that she gets her foolishness from your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your mother. But you heard your mother. Oh, having two mothers stinks. <laughs> I want the two of them to be besties, honestly, and just keep shit talking their husbands. Oh, it's so wonderful that you two can get past your anger and laugh together after all that's happened. Yeah, father, stay quiet. Say out grown woman business. <laughs> For too long we have lived in fear of Lord Miklan and his evil gods. He has savagely ripped away our fathers, brothers, husbands, and sons. The evil gods will de destroy the kingdom of Tekka. They will turn their vengeance on us, so we have a choice to make. We can run and hide. Or we can join forces with Tekka. And we can fight alone. Each kingdom is a mere finger. But together, we create a, a mighty, mighty fist. fist, yes! Now is the time to fight. Not to avenge the deads of our loved ones, but to secure the warrior spirits in generations to come. Yes, yesterday we mourned, but today, today we fight for our future! Yes! Oh, that was such a beautiful speech. Steady, my warriors. Look at Maya being a great leader. Oh, I love to see it. Jungle Kingdom stands with Tekka. Barbarians! Hey, I missed you. We miss you too, Boo. The prophecy is real. real. Yeah. It was that all the kingdoms come together to fight for each other. Mm-hmm. This changes nothing. You sure about that? You're looking a little scared right now. Meet a nice human girl, my father said. <laughs> Just in case I never get to do that again. <gasps> Yo, I love them together. I love it. These final episodes so far have been so 
scrum dummy yum good yeah that kind of makes sense that they all need to come together because in the beginning of the show none of the other kingdoms wanted anything to do with Tekka and this war and whatever so seeing them now come together and they're gonna battle the Oh, I'm so excited to see this battle. I'm so excited. Mm, Cause I know some people are gonna die. There's always death in war, but uh, all I know is that Zats better not die. Chimmy, Rico, and Maya better not die. Mama, both mamas better not die. <laughs> Anywho, so now we're on episode nine, which is the sun and the moon, and let's get into it. Oh, a pooch! Hey, you're back. And finally ends the story of our beloved friends. Oh, I worry we interfere too much. There's multiples of you. It was and shall always be their choice. They grow. They flower, they end. What? What is a pooch? What is she? What are they? Because clearly it's not just one person, it's multiple. <laughs> the way they animate these fight scenes, so good. After everything I've done for you, how could you betray me? After your betrayal, does that mean nothing? I love you. If you love me, end all of this, right now. Please, I beg you. For me. Por nosotros. No. No. So clearly you don't love us. Ugh. I am the god of war! Whatever. Well, you're gonna be a divorced god of war. <laughs> yes, Maya. Ooh, he lost it. Oh, they both lost the tooth. We answer to a higher power. <laughs> that rooster said, "Kiss my butt." <laughs> Not the golden eggs. Oh. They really did a repeat slow mo of her big nose punching. Him. I love it when the show has its unserious, funny moments like that. Love it. The goddess of illusion, her character design kind of reminds me of Princess Kida from Atlantis, the movie Atlantis, if she had black hair, kind of. I'm planning on reacting to that movie soon. I'm trying to find a costume because I want to do a cosplay for it. But anywho. Aim. Kita, I missed you so much. Puppy, I've missed you too. Come on, y'all. We know dad is dead. This isn't him. And make a pact with Lord Mikron, and the world shall know the might of the Jugulans! That is exactly what my father would do. <laughs> but I am not my father. Fire! <laughs> we are so going to win this battle, my amor. Mom, go to bed. Go rest. Her little pregnant wobble is so cute though. <laughs> you got no <laughs> what? You guys are so in love and it's disgustingly cute, but we're in the middle of a battle right now, okay? <laughs> Had enough, niña tonta. We can do this all day. No night. Wait, what? I might need to pee soon. <laughs> Rico's like, I don't want to do this all day and all night. What you talking about? <laughs> Give up now! You're completely outnumbered! Girl, did you really think I wouldn't bring my own army? This day ends with your sacrifice! Oh no. <sighs> oh, 
the animation is so good. Look at that. Look at the glowing. I'm afraid to say it, but could this get any worse? Um, yeah, don't say that, because it can, and it probably will. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, y'all, we need to give up. Wave the white flag. <laughs> we are a mighty fist, and today the sun will cheer our victory over evil. Mm, crush these cockroaches and bring me that Decca princess. Nah. He called y'all cockroaches. My goodness. <laughs> oh, oh. Me and more? You're in a relationship with the. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll cover you. Better not die, Rico. Because I think I love you. <laughs> the L word? You shut your snout right now. Oh! Okay, we in love with Rico. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, mom's in labor. Oh no, this is like the worst possible time. Giving birth all people are dying. <laughs> No crunch. Not anymore. I know, I know, I know. But I promise the g g Grand Brujo, I will protect his daughter. She needs you more than me now. Gracias. No. We're gonna be the bigger person. I haven't forgotten that you were being an asshole to Rico when he was a kid. Adorable. Did, is that frog rubbing its butt on you? Uh, okay. Look at this peasant magic coming in handy. Yes. It's nice seeing Rico go from a little kid that everyone bullied and didn't like and he, he, how he was so insecure with his magical abilities and feeling shameful for doing peasant magic and now he's confident, he's strong. It just seen this evolution of Rico so good. I feel like the character development in this show, like 10 out of 10, amazing. Hey, Maya. Your daughter Maya saved our marriage. With the help of the God of Counseling, we will fight for her cause. I love that. Uku, what did he do to you? Miklan said your human lies have blinded me. So he took my eyes. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so morbid. Like what in the animal cruelty? He took your eyes out? Oh so my amazing. goodness. Oh, the visuals, I'm telling you, are so good. Oh, oh, oh my amor, is everything all right? Oh yeah, everything is just great. Yeah, she's just screaming for fun, Dad. Like, stop asking stupid questions. Do your work. Goblet oh, gun. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. You will mm. pay for this. I will avenge you, Join your heart. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Till death do you part, lovers. You are so wicked for that. My pantheon of gods, I thank you all for your service. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. <gasps> 
me, my lord. What? <laughs> you monster! This is on you, woman! Don't blame us for your own actions, sir. What? Salud, amigo. This is wild. Mama! Papa! Shh. You wake the baby! <gasps> Take her to him! I know they're so cute. Mika! How's the battle going? Not good. <laughs> he turned into a big pool of gold liquid. What is that? Lord Clan is coming. In his final form. Ah! Not the final form. Oh, this is gonna be chaotic. Well, that's not too bad. Stop talking, Rico, because you're making it worse. <laughs> Rico! It could be worse. I have got to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, shut up, Rico. How do we kill this monster? As a human child of death herself, it is your gift and your curse, Maya. I am so Sorry. Don't be sorry. All of this has been an amazing adventure. Yeah, it's been an amazing nine episodes. My mother, fight them in the air and lure them down so I can get inside. Maya. Just trust me. Okay, we get it, you two. You're in love. Stop it. <laughs> His magic is becoming so powerful. Look, cause he's forming them all into one big one. Wow. Yes, Rico. Are they coming after the twins or something? Like... Mom just gave birth to twins and she's already hopping quickly back into this battle. Okay, mom, we get it. You're strong. You're a powerful woman. Or oh, relax, calm down. You just birthed two humans. Los niños, get them out of the way! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love you, Maya. No! Yo, yo, yo. Did our boyfriend just die? No. This cannot be. At least they left us his bracelet. But RIP Zets. Mama. Mama. No. Not you too. Mi niña, I'm at peace. Death comes for all of us, even for death herself. No, hold on, Mama. Por favor. I'm so glad I got to see you grow and shine. I'm not okay. <laughs> Emotionally right now, guys, you don't get it. Right now I'm stressed and I'm sad. They really killed our boyfriend and our mother within like a couple seconds of one another. Wow, they really said two for one combo. Double homicide. Your boo fang and your birth giver gone at the same time. Wow. This show is actually like amazing. Like I, I can't, I'm actually so depressed. We only have like 15 minutes left of this. No! Everyone is just sacrificing themselves right now. Oh my goodness. Can people please stop dying? No, 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 no
Whoever's voice acting Maya right now is acting their butt off. You can just hear the pain in the voice acting. Oh my goodness. Like, I need to go back. I need to hear that again. That was so good. Friends, my family, and my love. My love, like, you hear that pain. Oh my goodness, the slow-mo. So is that their weak spot is inside their mouth? This one's for you, Maya! Ooh, right in the eye. And right in the throat. Come on, come on, come on. Brothers! Show him what glory really means! Pichu! <gasps> Pichu! I knew she was gonna dislocate something again. Maya, you can't die yet. Come on, it's right there. Come on, get up, Maya. Stand up. This show needs to stop playing with my emotions right now. Stop it. I'm not gonna cry again. Please stop, show. Finally embrace what was always in you. Thanks to your b belief in me, Grand Brujo. Estefan helped you. My dear Chini, there is someone I want you to meet. <gasps> Mama! I am so sorry I was not there for you, mi niña. Well, it wasn't your fault. You didn't choose to, to die <laughs> during birth. I would die again a thousand times for you to live, Chini. <laughs> Yo, this show needs to stop. This show needs to literally stop playing with my heartstrings right now. A noble warrior's death. You raised me right, Papa. You're so handsome. Thank you, Papa. <sighs> Rikia, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. What are their names, Mama? The boy is named Jack. And the girl will be named Eagle. Perfect. After Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> because ah. of my sacrifice, the Celestials, in all their wisdom, granted me the greatest of honors. Are they bringing you back to life? I What's happening? The sun. The sun? And my true love? Became the moon, huh? Well, he became the moon. That's why this episode is titled The Sun and the Moon. We get to dance together forever and ever. And every day at dusk and dawn, we all get to see each other. Jimmy and Rico had kids. Kids. Es su tía. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not okay. <laughs> like. Adios, Maya. I didn't expect them to kill the main character of this show, but they did it in such a beautiful way. <laughs> Maya and the three, y'all. <laughs> I'm not okay at all. I did not expect the show to, like I expected the show to play with my emotions. Not this much though. I did not expect to be crying this much. My goodness, the message behind the show, absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The animation, I kept saying it throughout the show, but the way they did transitions, they did effects, they did like the fight scenes and the way they played with the aspect ratio throughout the show, genius, beautiful, creative, loved it. The characters, I did not feel like any character in the show was unnecessary or random or not needed. Every single character was well thought out. Their stories and their development flowed so well within the grand scheme of the whole story. The voice acting and so good the dialogue in the shows like i haven't gone so emotionally invested in a show since arcane arcane was the last time where it's like that show was tens across the board amazing and this one i don't know if it's i'm not even gonna compare the two because i feel like arcane and maya and the three are two different things but they're both done so well and I thought this, Maya and the Three, like this show, so good. Thank you guys so much for recommending me to watch this. I'm actually upset with myself that it took me this long to watch the show because this was such a fun watch and I loved every single minute of it. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this with me for the first time. If you have any thoughts, any, theories any whatever comment them down below because i want to hear it all i really it says this is a limited series i really hope they make a second season that maybe isn't about the same um characters maybe a different story with different characters but are along the same theme of you know um gods and goddesses and the underworld and you know like just expand but a different story each season would be cool really cool but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video till then peace